I'm giving uh, the floor to Robin Wittering, partner of Yegorov Buginsky, Afanasyev and Partners. Um. <clears throat> I'm neither American nor Russian, but I work for a Russian, a Russian business, so I'm kind of a bit neutral in this, in this discussion. Um, I see three things um, in, a, in our client base. Over the last 15 months, our Russian client base, we, we've got used, as I guess all of you in the audience have, that um, you know, there's capital starvation, which is you know, America <laughs> and Europe has cut off sources of finance to Russia. And I would say in phase one of the, of the crisis, Russian business has got used to that. So we sit here today in, in St. Petersburg, and I, I then see the second thing, which is there's a new normal, which is what I think of as ordinary businesses, be it Abbott, who we advise, um, be it Coca-Cola, as we just heard, want to continue doing business in Russia. So actually, I'm pretty positive now. I see a lot of people um, looking at the opportunity. There's a big opportunity because of the devaluation of the ruble, the stability, actually essential stability of the country. I find a lot of our foreign clients are somewhat surprised at how stable Russia has been in response to the financial crisis. So if we, if we go back 12 months, there was a lot of talk about distressed situations. It was all going to be terrible. But actually, over the last 12 months, it, it's really quite stable. So when I look at the title, I see new, new challenges. So in a way, we, we, we've lived with the old challenge, which was how, how, how do you um, continue when American and European finance has been cut off? And so I look at it the last 15 months, it was unclear how we would continue. I now see investors wanting to take opportunities. I think Dan mentioned Abbott. There are, there are others, you know, there's the, the, the Schlum, Schlumberger um, position. So I think a lot of new investment, big strategic investors are looking to come into the market right now. I think they're, relative, they're much more confident than, than they were 12 months ago. I also want to pick up on a theme that was mentioned. I've been working in Russia for uh, I think 50, nearly 15 years now for an international company and then a Russian company. I can say that I think in the last 12 months I've had more dialogue with the Russian government in a positive way in terms of what might be done, what could be done, um, and, and specifically what do investors, foreign investors want in the business climate. I find that very positive you know, over the last 12 months. I think it's, you know, one has to say that sometimes um, the legislative agenda, it, it's never in one direction. There's some negatives and there's some positives. But certainly I, I do see that, um, and I'm very impressed actually, that the Russian government didn't overreact to the sanctions. It kept pretty calm, pretty cool, and um, has, has been pretty sensible in response. So I thought, myself, as a, as a Westerner, there would be more deterioration in the relationship between Russia and Westerners in, in, in Russia, doing business in Russia, than there has been. I have um, 20 Russian partners. I'm the only foreign partner in my business. Honestly, I thought there would be more difficulty in the relationship between me as a foreigner and my Russian partners. There actually isn't a, a, a problem. So what I want to sort of leave you with, I see there's like two levels. There's this government level between presidents and, 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 and very important people who, who are talking geopolitics. And then there's this level of what I regard as ordinary sort of business people, which is, and I, and I think we've heard it from the panel today, it's kind of there's a normal continuing relationship. There's a major problem because there's been a cut-off of finance. There's been this starvation of capital. So our, our Russian client base is looking to, you know, it's, it's no surprise, looking to Asia, looking to the Middle East to raise finance as an alternative to replace American and European finance. But at the same time, I, I hear it all the time, um, Europeans, Americans want to continue doing business, make investments. The big concern, and then my final point, the big concern 12 months ago, we had a lot of clients coming to us. They were very worried that there would be um, problems for their businesses in Russia, be that through new legislation, um, anti-foreign legislation. That, that really hasn't, hasn't happened. And I get the sense from the panel on the Western side, I'm, I'm speaking on the Russian side, on the Western side that actually it, it is kind of business as usual and it's business as usual at the moment and looking for new investment and the next 12 months is about now whether people will take the next step and actually make more commitment to Russia as opposed to being broadly neutral at the moment. Thank you very much. Uh